Also, man, I was going to say, dog, when um, everything was going smooth, dog, y'all really, with you know, with Say Cheese and everything, bro, y'all was really f fucking the internet up for Texas, man. It was yeah. looking real good, dog. A dream team. And, uh, yeah, it, it was going crazy. It's that whole everything in DF Dub, you know what I'm saying? That is Fort Worth. And that helped a lot of Houston niggas to everything that was going on that we didn't know about. Because I'll be honest, me personally, I mean no disrespect to Fort Worth or anybody. I didn't get hip to who Twisted Black was until after y'all came out. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? I started hearing that he was like the OG out there on the music shit and everything like that and went back. So y'all was my introduction. You know what I'm saying? All of y'all was my introduction to Fort Worth. Y'all era rap. You know what I'm saying? So I go back and I listen. I'm like, damn, five, six years later, I feel like y'all niggas supposed to been like, to the next motherfucking level as far as not saying y'all fucked up or nothing, but you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like y'all niggas supposed to be like them niggas touring the country, right. doing shows and tapping in and, and uh, fucking with labels like more closely. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. So, so how do you feel about that? I feel the same way. It's like, it's so crazy to see that people don't know the backstories. You know what I'm saying? Like, niggas don't know the backgrounds, bro. Like. I was trying to fix all that shit. Man. When that shit started slipping, yeah. I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna get a, the nigga G Money Lil Runny his car too. He was with me on it. He was trying to fix that shit too when that shit was slipping. But it's like, you can only tell and show a grown ass nigga so much, bro. You know what I'm saying? Nigga gonna always do. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know. Like, nigga was trying to fix that shit. Like, I told Runny, like, you know what I'm saying? Man, run it on the same page. Hey, fix this part. I'm going to try to fix this part. But then when you got two motherfuckers that's kind of the same, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, with the mindsets, like, it ain't shit you can really do. It's almost like a, the penitentiary. You know what I'm saying? Like, being, being in prison. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, niggas, be, niggas don't want to have no rides, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So a nigga be trying to fix this shit before it even get started you know what i'm saying it ain't no scary shit it's just the bigger picture niggas gotta go home and niggas made parole and nigga, we gonna fuck his parole out there bro you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying my pro like shit like that but it's just like you still got the certain motherfuckers who just ain't got no structure don't care about nothing do whatever the fuck they want to do because it was almost like this to me like i'm this type of nigga and i'm so i'm so i'm so realist like all this shit supposed to be about money bro this shit don't mean nothing at the end of the day if you die bro you ain't got no money and you ain't leave no legacy behind bro it's like okay fuck it bro we can fix it like this we ain't even gotta fuck with each other whatever the case may be y'all y'all two niggas ain't gotta fuck with each other you know what i'm saying let's just keep it in line for the world you know what i'm saying for the for the white people, for the labels, for the make it look like something. Ah, niggas don't. But niggas wanna be. Everybody wanna be boss men, bro. And it ain't even about that. And like you see now, like before I got up to this point where niggas like, oh, Bugatti boss man, and he he called shot. I never gave a fuck about that shit. Niggas just to think. Other niggas started casino. Niggas just to think. You know what I'm saying? Uh, with the hood vein shit. Niggas just to think I was niggas bodyguard and shit like that. What if, however a nigga looked at me, I wasn't tripping. I was cool with it. I didn't come on that bitch like, nigga, he didn't start this, I started this. I ain't this nigga bodyguard, nigga. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I was cool with it, cause it all made sense. I didn't give a damn, I was just trying to get to the money. You know what I'm saying? Niggas fucked that shit up and then, of course it's gonna look like, it's gonna look bad on me and look like I did a lot of fucked up whole shit because people can really see on the outside looking in, they see I'm the real street nigga of the situation. You see what I'm saying? So of course it'll look a certain type of way to a motherfucker, but it's like nigga tried to fix that shit like, bro, we could have been millionaires right now. Everybody could have been millionaires right now. Ain't had to fuck with each other. You know what I'm saying? It's just that shit crazy, bro. Like That shit just crazy, bro. Like That shit could have been fixed, bro. That shit could have been fixed. You know what I'm saying? But then when yeah. other shit start happening and falling out, it's just certain, certain shit you well, can't come back. I, I look at Fort Worth and why I do have, why I do got the respect for in Fort Worth, like y'all a city that created y'all own rap scene for this era through y'all own rap industry. You know what I'm saying? Y'all not a, a major city. Y'all not just small or nothing like that. Y'all got a million people in the uh, area, right? Yeah. But like um, y'all created y'all own rap shit, like with you know videographers, half pint. You know what I'm saying? Plus. 
uh, real life street stars fucking with y'all also. Right. Even though they in Dallas, they was tapped in and everything going on in Fort Worth, Sun Cotton, of course. Y'all get where y'all got y'all beats from and everything of that nature. Y'all really created y'all industry as opposed to like Houston. We always had an industry in that rap game. You know what I'm saying? Right. We always had like, when I say industry, I mean like access to the yeah, rap game. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Y'all created y'all's on y'all own and I always had respect for that. Like how Detroit kicked they shit off. You know what I'm saying? Jacksonville kicked they shit off and different little cities kicked they shit off where they didn't have a mainstream artist to come back and lift the the uh, the uh the, the guys up. They had to do it through the internet and like I say, videographers, producers, clubs, everything like that. So that's why I say I'm looking at the other cities now where they doing the million dollar shit now. And Fort Worth is just like, damn. You know what I'm saying? Y'all supposed to be right there too as one of them motherfuckers because the talent is there. The know-how was there. Nigga, like I say, niggas dropping all the videos. Niggas getting views. I don't give a fuck if you a nigga that drop four videos that do 400,000. Nigga, you was somebody. And it's so crazy in because I'm going to show you. When that shit start happening and all that big shit start happening and we start doing that shit, that shit didn't do nothing but trick niggas out of their position. That's what niggas wanted. Yeah. Niggas wanted this shit. Why? Because now, it opened up the door. We had the spotlight for Dallas Fort Worth down that pier. People wanted to sign us as a whole. They weren't looking for no other, you know what I'm saying? Like, now when that shit happened now, the labels and shit looking at these people like, looking at us like, I'm not finna give these folks no money. These folks finna get ready and kill each other. Like, fuck that. But if they hard from down there, Let's find some other people. I know some other motherfuckers that's hard down there too, so let's look for something else. That's how other niggas start getting action and getting in play like, which is cool, they supposed to. Not stopping nobody from getting no money or what they got going, but it's just like, I feel like a lot of that shit supposed to be ran through us. We could have got a piece of all that shit, you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But motherfuckers don't. You know what I said, motherfuckers don't. That shit crazy, bro. Like, like you say, we yeah, yeah, we start. Like, I don't care what nobody say, bro. It's rappers to this day who bigger than me, who bigger than every all of us, who still our shit constantly. Like constantly, still our flows, still the way we dress, the way we talk. You know what I said, the way we rap, the way nigga heard me. Like, they ain't gonna get nigga credit for that shit. They gonna they, niggas can sit back and act like they don't know who the fuck I'm talking to, like, and, and, and know who the fuck. You know what I said, but. Niggas know, bro, like, and that shit be crazy because it's like, you can't even get mad. That's what a nigga supposed to do. This shit about some money. It ain't about, this ain't no fucking popularity contest. That's what niggas turning it into. Fuck a popularity contest. Where the money at? You see what I'm saying? Like, nigga, we trying to get to where the money at? Like, fuck the pop. I don't give a fuck about being popular. I've been popular my whole life. That shit don't do nothing but bring the wrong attention. Where is the money, bro? You know what I'm saying? Then the popular shit will add up with the money shit and the nigga can move and be popular and famous all he want to because a nigga got the right bag so a nigga can, you can't. It's like this, in this type of game, you can't be famous and be broke. It's just not gonna work, bro. Like it's not, it's, it's not gonna work. I swear to God, it's not gonna work. You know what I'm saying? Like, and just be, a nigga just super famous, he just in the hood, smoking with the rest of the nigga, rest of his partners and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, that shit backwards as hell. It's like, man, what the fuck going on? Like, that shit don't work like that. You see what I'm saying? It's like, so, and then, nigga, I'm in the hood every day. You ain't got no trust to be in the hood every day, broke motherfucker. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like, nigga, that don't make you hard or gay. It make you stupid. You yeah. famous as hell sitting. You broke as fuck. Like, yeah. that shit be crazy, bro.